Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In today's video, we will discuss about FBA shipped order. So whatever orders that are being delivered by Amazon FBA warehouse, we will discuss how to import those orders in Odoo using this connector. So here I am on my Odoo database. I'll go to Amazon. Now, before we import any orders and see the order import process, first let us understand the configurations that needs to be done before we import FBA shipped order. So, there are some configuration that needs to be ensured at a seller level and there are some configuration that needs to be ensured at a marketplace level. So, first let us understand the seller level configuration. Here, as I select the seller, I get the FBA order section. There I see the first option is does another software create the FBA shipment report. So if there are any other system which seller is using to import the same FBA shipment report then Amazon will decline the second request. So say for example if two application at the same time request the same report that is the FBA shipment report for the same date range, then Amazon will decline the second request. So in order to avoid the cancellation issue, we have this feature. If you enable this feature, the system will directly import the report which has already been generated by the other system instead of requesting a new report from Amazon. Then there is auto workflow option. So you can select the auto sales workflow for your FBA orders. You can select the workflow option to confirm the quotation, create and validate invoice, register payment and force accounting date. In a separate video, we have already discussed about the auto sales workflow in detail. So I'm not going in detail in this video, but be sure to watch out those video before you import FBA shipped order. Then I have an option to import my FBA order with either Odoo's default sell order sequence or I can also import the order with Amazon generated order reference number. So if this option is enabled, then Odoo will create the FBA orders with the Odoo's default sequence rather than Amazon order reference sequence. Then if I select to import the orders with Amazon generated order reference number, then I get an option to add a prefix as well. So say for example, if I'm importing an order with the Amazon generated order reference number that is 12345, I can add this FBA prefix before that order reference number which will help me to identify my FBA orders. Then the last option is fulfillment center required to import FBA orders. So if this option is enabled, then system will not import any order unless and until the fulfillment center which is there in that particular order is associated with a specific FBA warehouse. We have already discussed about the FBA fulfillment center and the warehouse configuration in a separate video. So please watch out that video before you enable this option. Now there are some marketplace related configuration that needs to be done. So here I select any marketplace. Then there is an order level configuration. There I see FBA warehouse. So this is the virtual warehouse that gets created and automatically set up here to a specific marketplace. So this virtual warehouse is to be set up and is to be set up over here. So whatever FB orders that we import from Amazon will have a stock move done from this specific warehouse. So this was the configuration part. And apart from this, if you are managing your accounting in Odoo itself and you have already set up a proper fiscal position, chart of account, taxation in Odoo, then, then this connector will consider your Odoo's default configuration for taxation and accounting to import this order as well. So be sure that all the fiscal positions, tax mapping and everything is done properly before you import any of the FBA orders. Now once you are done with this configuration, 
we are good to import FBA orders. So we can import FBA orders in two ways. The first one is a manual option that can be imported through the operations FBA and here I get an option to import FBA shipped order. So this execution will import FBA shipment report from Amazon. And when I execute this operation, system will import FBA shipment report wherein we will find all the orders that has been shipped by Amazon. So here in the FBA menu, I'll see an option shipment reports. And here I'll get all the shipment report that has been imported in the system. Once the report request is submitted to Amazon, it will be in the submitted state and when the report is generated by Amazon, you will see the status changed from submitted to done and you will see an option to get a report. Now when I click this option, system will import the report and you will see an option to process this file. Once the file is processed, the status will be changed from done to processed and you will see all the orders that has been reported through this shipment report. Now, if there are any mismatches, you will find mismatch detail in the mismatch details tab. And once the mismatch issue has been resolved or corrected, you can reprocess this file so that the remaining orders will get imported in Odoo. System, while processing this shipment report, it will commit at every 10 orders. So say for example, you have 100 orders in the shipment report, then every 10 orders system will import in a queue. So in the backend, when the shipment report is being imported, you will see the orders reflected in your front screen from the cell step. So here, whatever orders gets imported, you will see here in the FB orders section. So here, as you can see, I have imported several FBA orders. If you import any orders, if you open any orders, you will get all the related and necessary information in that order like the product, other information, the warehouse from which it was shipped, the workflow that was applied to that specific order. So this was the first option to import the FBA shipped order. And if you have set up in workflow to create and validate invoice along with the order creation, then this invoice will be created at the time of order creation. Then the other option is importing FBA shipped order through scheduler. So if you go to configuration, sellers, select the seller, you will find FBA scheduler from where you can set up a scheduler to auto request and process FBA shipment report. So you can set up FBA shipment report. Say for example, I want to import my FB sh FBA shipment report every day through this user. And if I save this cron configuration, then system will automatically import your FBA shipment report every one day through this user. Now, once the order gets imported, when the shipment report is processed, if there is any discrepancy, you will be able to find that discrepancy in the mismatch details. So, if you go to FBA shipment, there are list of the shipment report that has been processed and you will find the mismatch details over here. So, if there is any missing details like the product was not properly mapped, the fulfillment center was not properly configured, then you will find all the discrepancy details in the mismatch details. So accordingly, you can take your corrective actions and then reprocess this file to import the missing orders. You will also find this mismatch details under the logbook. So that is a logbook which you can group by model. And see how many mismatch do I have for the shipment report. So this was all about FBA shipped order. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.